feathers, lolly chop. Oh, what's bothering you now, Terrence? This is no time for a tea party. Uncle Amos is telling the story. Come on, or we'll miss it. Oh, it's always hurry, hurry, hurry with you. Yeah, turtles are supposed to take it easy. But Cotton, Uncle Amos is telling the story. You mean the story? Why didn't you say so? Let's go! <laughs> 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 Humpty Dumpty, I'm not. I'm Uncle Amos, the ache. So, you want the story? Then the story I give. It happened here in Pennsylvania Dutch country, on this very farm, years ago when the animals were just animals. The farm was different back then. Poorer, hungrier, not so happy-like. The winter had been a tough old blower. And the spring was coming in slow as a stubborn mule. Papa Doppler was the farmer. And Mama Doppler, the farmer's wife, was. <laughs> Love they had, but money they didn't. Soon they would lose the whole farm to the terrible Tobias Tin Whiskers. Where is Doppler? I know he hides somewhere. Pay what you owe, or I take farm. The Dopplers needed help. Help. More than help, they needed a wonderment. Ah, such sounds from the hen house inside. Something the eggs under. <gasps> a baby. Mama, pinned on his somewhat, is a something. Read. Call me Peter Pass. And if you can, love me. But how? From where? For why? Oh, Papa, don't question when such a wonderment it gives. Ah. Uh, a wonderment? I sing a wonderment, I sing a cheer, I sing a happiness this time of year, I sing an April morn, a sky so fair, I sing a world reborn and everywhere, I sing a wonderment when winter goes, I make a joyful noise from head to toe. A joy that tells the world that we've come through. I sing a dream of spring and dreams come true. When my heart's a field of daffodil and my head's an apple blossom tree and my voice in love with everything sings out loud, sings out free. It sings a wonderment. It sings a cheer. It sings that happiness at last is here, and what I'm singing now, you can sing too. Let's sing a wonderment for me and you. Ah, Peter Pass, a usual baby, was not. You see, usuals have to grow a full 12 months before they are a year old. Peter grew a year every month. So on his first birthday, he was 12 years already. And such a big 12. And such power. And such a worker. And such joy. The more he heard laughter, the stronger up he grows. <laughs> Soon the farm was the envy of everybody. The whole valley over. And I mean everybody. With the animals, he had a special bond. Aw, uh, it's nothing very special. Animals and humans are about the same. If you close in a name, you'd all be folks. Same as Mama and Papa Doppler. Why, sure. Sure is oaks make acorns, and Easter eggs have yolks. And animals more than animal-like, an animal can be folks. 
like an overgrown canary with skin between each toe and no vocabulary. Quack, quack is all you know. Today you're really lucky if human ways you choose. A duck is more than ducky with a magic pair of shoes. <laughs> we'll call you feathers. Like it? I mean, I think that's just adorable. Sure as a fake acorns and Easter eggs have yolks And animals more than animal like And animal can't be false Your ears are long and furry Your back is hard as slate You're always in a hurry And you are always late That's very, very human So to be like human beings Here's a hat with a flower blooming And some sneakers and some jeans We'll call you Cotton and Terrence <laughs> well, of course, I didn't forget you. Here's a pretty hat and a fancy necklace. Or, uh, how about lolly chop? Now, all of you, try out your talkers. Sure as oaks make acorns, and Easter eggs have yolks, and animals more than animal like, an animal can be bold. All you little guys, too? You can be Bill Bird. And you're Maxwell Mouse. Henceforth, you're Snail Sport. Anymore? You two rule the hen house. So how about Queen Bessie and King Bossy? Sure as oaks make acorns, and Easter eggs have yolks, and animals more than animal life. This year's payment by Easter or all mine. Mine! <laughs> yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Tin Whiskers has a mortgage on your farm? He's so rich, practically the whole valley he owns. But not for always was his pocket so much money full of. He was a simple farmer once, like us. And he grew crops as we do, plain and simple, by hand. But then some money he inherited, and a tractor he bought. Such a wonder it was. It could the work of a hundred farmers do. Our market prices with his could not compete. He sold us under. But why didn't you get a tractor? Broke. To afford a tractor, you got to have a tractor to make what a tractor costs in the first place. I think you're a lot better off than Tobias Toot. How'd he get to be Tin Whiskers anyway? Well, so much he loved his machinery that he went once to the big city, hired a plastic doctor and two motor engineers, and got himself made mechanical altogether. <laughs> As the farms fail, he takes them over. Off the animals and people he drives. Then everything he knocks down to make more room for his machines. Now, not only the valley does he own, but the town also. He bought it, bank and all. And after himself, he named it. And soon, our farm also to Tobias Tin Whiskers will belong. We'll raise that money somehow. How? We'd have to sell thousands and thousands and thousands of eggs. I know a way, if you'll all help. I'll help. I'll do it all by myself. We'll all help. First, we gotta go to a, a place I know. A sleeping place, a quiet place, far in the woodland deep. Awakens but just once a year, its promises to keep. A girl so fair doth linger there, ageless, sweet and true. 
And Mother Nature is the name by which she's known to you. Though I was but a babe in arms a year ago this night, she sent me forth in vain that I should ease the doctor's plight. And as I left that magic place, her voice to me did sing, Return each year this very night, the dawn before the spring. I love you, lad, so please return each dawn before the spring. Yes, this is the spot. But where's the pretty lady? Fireworks? No, a falling star. It's a message from his... his mama. It's... it's a contract. An egg contract. A contract to supply colored eggs to the Easter rabbit himself. You know the Easter bunny? Well, who do you think carried me to the Dopplers a year ago tonight? We'll be able to pay Tin Whiskers. Why? Will the Easter Bunny buy lots of eggs? Lots? He'll buy thousands and thousands and thousands. Thousands and thousands and thousands? Well, um, I guess I mean, uh, oh, uh, no problem. Uh, no problem at all. Oh, <laughs> maybe not for you, dear. I'll have to talk to the ladies. Well, those chickens sure did cooperate. And the other animals colored all those eggs. So by the night before Easter, there were thousands and thousands and thousands. And the magical Easter rabbit came and spirited them to the four corners of the world away. It was a joyous Easter morning. Everybody went to the best Easter breakfast ever. And after, Peter built a small stage in the barnyard. And to celebrate their good fortune, they gave for all of the neighbors a show. Stop such foolishness. Glad to see you, Farmer Tin Whiskers. Here's this year's payment. Uh, all here. You, you. If, if you don't make next year's payment, you lose farm. Ha. We'll make it. We have the egg contract. I, I don't get a contract. I am better farmer than you. <laughs> well, some folks think differently, I guess. I prove. I challenge you to plowing contest tomorrow at dawn in my South 40. Bring plow. Uh-oh. Never a tin whisked farmer trust. For the field he chose was a farm he once knocked down. An old well was there, hundreds of feet deep. And that tin sneak hid the well. Good and proper. Ready you are, set you get, so go already. Yeah! Yeah! Peter from the start was ahead. Such a wonderment. But wait, the well. Peter was to the old well coming. No, stop. Stop! <laughs> Well, the Dopplers and the neighbors got together and fished Peter Paz from the well out. They carried him home and in his upstairs room placed him gentle like. Is he? I, I, is he? You know, gone? His heart beats still, but slow somewhat. Such a strange, strange sleep. And he slept the summer away, and through autumn's glory, and winter's silence he slept. And even as March winds blow, still he slept. 
And when it was once more the dawn before springtime, the sad little animals all to the woodland went to ask Mother Nature's help. The cure for Peter's sleep sleeps itself. Within this I now hold. When this hatches, that which bursts from inside will awaken him. What, what's inside, ma'am? You will see only when it hatches. This, this is too important to entrust to the setting hens. Feathers? You're right. We'll hatch it ourselves. We? You mean me and Terrence help hatch an egg? That's bird's work. We all love Peter, don't we? Then we'll all take turns. Yeah. And turns they took. Eight hour shifts the clock around. Ooh. Day and night. Night and day. And finally... Oh! I feel something stirring. Did you feel it before, Cotton? <sighs> I... I always get kind of numb the last hour or so. Whoops! <gasps> there it goes again. I do believe it'll hatch by tomorrow morning. What will hatch? Inside every apple is an apple core. In every pretty peach is a pear. But we got an egg, and nobody knows whatever is inside of it. Till it finally breaks its shell, and nobody can tell what wonderment would dwell inside our egg. Our egg, our egg, our egg. Could be a dragon or a dinosaur. Our egg? Could be a fairy queen. Our egg. Maybe it's a wish on a wishing star. Or, or a monster colored green. green. Could be a wizard or a wacky witch. Our egg. Or an elf from old Saint Nick. Our egg. Or a magic little tailor with a magic stitch. Or, or an ordinary chick. Oh, no. Inside every pumpkin is a pumpkin seed. In every horse's mouth is a pin. But we got an egg. And nobody knows whatever is inside of it. To work! Easter tomorrow is, and the Easter eggs we must in the farmyard pile for the bunny. Don't you budge now. If anything uh, starts popping, you let us know. I uh, sure will, because whatever is inside this egg will wake Peter, and we need Peter to save the farm. All the night through, they brought the eggs from the storage bins out and put them a pile in two. Hard work. Holding two jobs is harder even. So who can blame Terence for 40 winks catching? Peter, don't wake up now. Soon for mine. Well, I got egg. What do we do? Wake everyone! Huh? Say cock a doodle doo, dear. Oh, yes, yes, uh. Cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! Uh, Tin's got the egg whisker. I, I mean, Whisker's got the tin egg. I, I mean, Tin. We get the idea. Come on! This You don't catch Tobias Tin Whiskers! Oh, which way go with they? Take that away, goat. Uh oh, the old man! Somebody to egg catch before the ground it splotches on! Good work, Billbird. I got it now. I got it! I've got it! I've got it! Oh. 
Serious ache. It cracked open, and nobody's eyes ever such as something sore. This must be the place. <laughs> Great day for the race. What race? Human race! <laughs> Take me to your leader! <laughs> You've heard of wonderment. This was a fundament. A clown showed the cookie bird. Very rare. In the whole world, only one. And the medicine he made was nothing but good laughing. <laughs> the Doppler, they laughed. The animals, they laughed. All Easter morning with laughter was alive. And the glorious stuff, which hadn't for a whole year been heard to Peter Paz's bedroom, found its way. You see, laughter, simple laughter, the one thing that was for a whole year missing was the only thing that could cure Peter Paz. <laughs> 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 Such a celebration for the belly feasting, for the heart loving. For the soul laughing. Even Tin Whiskers laughed himself from the well up. Somewhat rusted and wonderment of wonderments. The magic laughter showed him that under it all, he was still Tobias Toot. He reformed and gave all the poor folks back their farms and poured himself now for the Dufflers he went to work. In fact, he took Peter's place, for Mother Nature called Peter Paz to other needy folk. His wonderment to bring, nobody the whole county round would ever Peter Paz forget. And when Tin Whiskers gave the town back, they made it a new name. Well, farewell, Peter Paz. Remember you, we will, sweetly. Miss you, we will, terrible-like. And love you, we will, always. And what I'm singing now, you can sing too. Let's sing a wonderment for me.